Welcome in, you guys. Welcome in. We are doing GED math tonight. All right. So um, we're going to be doing slopes. And um, after slopes, we're going to do a little systems and scientific notation. Okay. And we might jump to exponents. So let's start with number one. Line in passes through the following points. 0, 4, 1, 2, 2, 0, and 3, negative 2. What is the slope of line in? So when they give you something like this, right, um, you can choose two points. And you can choose, you only need two points to determine the slope. So this is our x, this is our y, this is our x2, this is our y2, okay? So our slope formula, does anybody remember the slope formula today? Um, can you guys put it in the chat if you guys remember? Welcome in, welcome in, you guys. Yes, you can chart it as well. Boo said you could chart it, yep. You can graph it. MX us y equals mx plus b rise over run. Yes, okay. So good. Somebody said the change of y over the change of x. Perfect. So it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You guys were right on it. Um, the rise over run you want to use when they're giving you a graph, okay? This is when you this is the formula you want to use when they give you points. So we labeled our points x1, y1, x2, y2, and you guys, it literally does not matter which one's x1, which one's y1. Um, I mean which one's x2. It matters which one's X and Y. Let me take that back. It matters which one's X and Y, but it does not matter. Um, like this could be X1, this could be Y1, and this could be X2 and vice versa, okay? So I just want to make sure everybody understands that. You choose whatever you want to be the X1, Y1, and the X2, Y2, okay? So this is what I chose. So let's actually um, plug it in. So we said Y2 was going to be 2 minus our y1 which is four welcome in you guys happy sunday everyone happy sunday we are doing the ged math okay um for people that are trying to get their high school diploma so please share this with anybody that you know have been struggling with the math part okay um and then we're gonna do x2 because that's a part of our formula one minus and then we're gonna do x1 which is zero now we simplify, we do our top. So 2 minus 4 is negative 2. And then 1 minus 0 is 1. And negative 2 divided by 1, our answer is B. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, congratulations on passing your GED test. I'm hoping I'm seeing more people say that. All right, so let's check out number 2. It says line L. Okay, so what do you guys say um, number two is going to be? A, B, C, or D? Put it in the chat. Which one do you guys think number two is going to be? C, okay. C, C, I'm getting, okay, I'm getting more C's. I got a D, a couple of B's. Okay, so we're, we're nobody said A, okay. So let's see. Line L passes through point one zero and has a slope of three. Which of the following points also lie on line L? All right, so this is an example of where we would use our slope intercept form y equals mx plus b, which you guys were putting in the comments before. So remember, this is slope intercept form for the equation, and this is just the slope itself okay because m is the slope b is the y-intercept all right so they let's let's first figure out the equation okay so what we're gonna do this is our x this is our y and then we know our slope which is m is three so i'm gonna plug in zero for my y my m is three and my x is one okay I'm trying to solve for my y-intercept, okay? This b is the y-intercept. So three times one is three plus b. How do we get three to the other side? We minus three, minus three, this cancels, and we have b equals negative three. 
Now, my equation that I can use is y equals 3x, because that's my slope. Remember, I'm putting in m, 3x, and my b is minus 3. Now, you guys said the answer is b. So what we can do is we can check this answer by plugging it into our equation, because remember, this is an x and this is a y. So we could plug this in and see if it's true. So let's do that, okay? So let's plug in 3 for y equals, and then we have 3 times our x, which is 1, minus 3. All right, okay, let's see, y'all. So 3 equals, 3 times 1 is 3, okay? And then 3 minus 3. Well, 3 minus 3 goes to 0. 3 does not equal 0. So B, we know, is not correct. Okay, okay, so some people are saying C, some people are saying A. Let's see, if we plug in C, because I saw a lot of C before, let's plug in C here, okay? And let's see if this is going to be true to the equation that we have here. So remember, this is your X, this is your Y. So let's plug in 3 for Y. And then we do 3 times our X we said was 2, minus 3, okay? So we have 3 on this side. 3 times 2 is 6, minus 3. 6 minus 3 is 3. Does 3 equal 3? That is true. C is our answer. All right, I hope that makes sense. Oh, I'm going off. You guys can't see. Now, some people were saying A. Let's see why. I mean, we saw that C was true, right? But let's, let's let people see why A is not correct. Okay, so we're going to use our handy dandy um, equation. Okay, thank you so much for the hearts, you guys. Thank you, thank you. So let's use our equation. This is our X and Y. And then we're going to plug in 3 equals. Okay, and then we have 3 times 0 minus 3. Well, 3 times 0 is 0 minus 3. Now, be careful here, right? 0 minus 3 is a negative 3. Or so 3 does not equal negative 3. That's why A does not work. Okay, so C is the correct answer. So I hope everybody can see that. Yes, yes, clap back. Visual learning is the best. I'm telling you, I'm such a visual learner. Good, I'm glad you learned this. All right, so let's go to the next one. Okay, so we're doing slopes and equations. So it says, number one, which of the following is an equation from the line that passes through this point and this point? So if I'm on a time test, you guys, Literally, I would say, okay, this A, B, C, D, okay, I'm going to guess one. Which one would you guys say is the correct one? I'm going to see what you guys say. A, B, C, or D? B? Okay, I'm going to go with B. Mickey said B. So we're going to try B first, okay? And what you're going to do, okay, there's, there's multiple ways to do this problem. What you could do is you could just do the slope and see which one gives you the slope, or you could start with B and plug in. If I'm on a time test, you guys, since I know that each slope is different, I would just do the slope. So let's do that, okay? Because I want to show you the best effective way, okay? So this is X1, Y1. This is X2, Y2. And remember, our slope formula is your changes in Y, so Y2 minus y1 over your change in the x's, x2 minus x1, okay? So now let's do y2 is negative 3 minus from here, and our y1 is 0, okay? Now we're going to do our x2, which is 2 minus my x1 is a negative 1. This is what messes people up all the time because they do not put both of the negatives. So make sure this negative is from the, from the um, formula. This negative is from the negative one here. So you got to pay attention to your negatives, okay? So now we're going to do negative 3 minus 0 
is negative 3. And then 2 minus a negative 1. Remember, a negative and negative change to a positive. So 2 plus 1 gives us 3. All right. So negative 3 divided by 3 is a negative 1. Which one of these has a negative 1 as the slope? What letter? Good. Somebody said the answer is negative 1. C, that is correct. Excellent. You are on it. C is our answer. So remember, you guys, when you see a negative attached, remember, that's all, that is a negative 1, okay? You got to know that. That's a negative 1. And so C would be our correct answer. Good, good, good. All right. Thank you. Thank you for all the hearts, you guys. Um... Please share this. We are doing the high school equivalence exam, the GED. If you know anybody that's been struggling to pass the math part, please share this, okay, um, with them so they can get some practice. No, Priscilla, you are not bad at math. Do not speak that over your life. Oh, my sister name is Priscilla, too. Thank you, MJ, for the roses. I hope everybody's been having a wonderful, wonderful Sunday weekend. You guys, I'm too excited. It's my last week before summer break. <laughs> I'm too ready. All right, let's do number two. Which of the following is an equation for the line that passes through negative three, four, and one, four? Okay, I see some people saying B. Um, some people are saying C. All right, let's see here. So again, um, we can do our slope, right? So we can say this is x1, y1. This is x2, y2. Okay. And I'm going to do my slow formula. Okay. So some people are saying D now. Let's see. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay. So our y2 is 4. We said it's going to be 4. Minus our y1, which is 4. Okay. Then we have our x's, which x2 is 1 minus my x1, which is negative 3. All right, so 4 minus 4 is 0 over, and then 1, mi one minus a negative. Remember, this changed to a positive. So 1 plus 3 is 4, okay? So 0 divided by 4 is 0. So now, you guys... This is where it becomes interesting, right? Because you would have to know what these look like, what these graphs look like. So remember, um, whenever this, these equations have slopes of zero, okay, both of these. So at least we eliminated, we know it's not going to be C and we know it's not going to be D because the slope in this case is one and one here. So we know those are out, okay? Okay. So now you would have a 50-50 chance to guess. But let's look at this, okay? This equation right here, B, is Y equals 4. So let's actually do a little graph. So if we did 1, 2, 3, 4. This is going to be crossing here at horizontal. So it crosses this way, okay? So now let's see, does one, if we were to graph this, is one four on here? Yep, it's on that line. Is negative three, so if we go over negative three, up four, these points are both on this line, so B is our answer. I hope that makes sense. Give us one to your sister, please. Okay, so anybody not understand this? Thank you for the rose. Thank you for the follows, you guys. I really appreciate it. Good. I'm glad you said B. You were right on it. Okay, so not Keith said, I don't understand. I'm good. I'm glad you said that because I'm sure you are not the only one. So let's take out our calculator, okay? Because on the, um, on the test, you get to use a calculator. So we're going to use Y equals. Oh, so let me clear this out. Hold on real quick. Clear. Clear, clear, and then we're going to clear this. Okay, so if I go to y equals, 
and I put in um, y equals and then I put X right and I hit graph nope something is wrong something else is graphing you guys that is not what it looks like okay this calculator I gotta reset it clear um, let me see second quit this is what happens when your little ones get a hold of your calculator and they change everything up. Um, second quit. Let's do window. Oh, you guys, sorry. This calculator is too jacked up right now. And I would need to reset it. But, okay, so let me try to explain it one more time, okay? Whenever you have a y equals zero or a y equals four, these are automatically have slopes of zero. This is what we did to find to know that zero divided by four, our slope was zero. So we knew that C and D absolutely cannot be because the slope on this X is one here and the slope on this equation is one. So we know that D and C are out. Okay. So that, leave, that left us with y equals 0 or y equals 4, okay? So now what you wanted to do is you want to check which can these points that they gave us go on the line, okay? So y equals 0 is actually this line right here. It's, it would be the y, it would be the x-axis. So if I plotted this point 1, 4, so if I go to 1, and then up four, so one, two, three, four, it's going to be on the equation y equals four. So B is my answer. Thank you so much, Crystal, for the donut. What grade is this? This is algebra one. Um, this is algebra one. I would say also, you can see it algebra two. Um, this um, systems you'll see in middle school, high school, college, and all that. Okay, good. I'm glad you understood. Okay, good. So systems of linear equations. Let's do some system work. Um, so there's two types, you guys, and there's two different methods. There's the elimination method, and then there's the substitution method. You use the substitution method when you have a variable solved by itself okay this we we, we are going to use the elimination method and what the elimination method says is i need the same number top and bottom but with a plus and a negative so how could i what do i need to multiply this top by in order for it to be this number here or opposite of the number what would you guys say? What do good? Yay, yay, yay said negative two. Perfect two. Good. Okay. Remember, we want to leave it as a pot. We want this. This is a positive and this is a negative. We want to keep them opposite. So we would multiply by a two. Perfect. So now we're going to distribute here. So two times seven is 14x. Two times a negative one is negative 2y and then 2 don't forget this over here you gotta go here 2 times 22 gets us 44 okay now we're going to drop down our bottom equation underneath here so we're going to put 4x plus 2y equals 210 okay and now we can add now we can directly add down you guys so 14x plus 4x gives us 18x. Remember, we did this whole thing so that these y's would cancel out, okay? So 2 minus 2 cancels out. And then we have equals 44 plus 10 gives us 54, all right? What is our last step? How do we get x by itself? What do we do, you guys? Good. Okay. Sammy said three divide by 18. Excellent. Divide, divide. That is perfect. Yes, we divide by 18. Excellent. So 54 divided by 18 is going to give us X equals three. 
Perfect. Now, the question is, are we done or do we have to keep find something else? Are we done? Good. Okay, I see a lot of threes. No, yes. Oh, done. Uh, we're done, yes? Okay, so unfortunately, you guys, whenever you see a system, you have to find both variables, well, both letters, okay? That's all that means. When you ever you hear this, a teacher say variable, that means letter, okay? So we found the X. Now we need to find the Y. So we're going to plug in. I'm going to plug in back into this equation here, okay, to find my Y. So I'm going to do 4 times. I know my X is 3, so I can replace it with 3 plus 2Y equals 10, okay? And then we're going to solve, you guys. All right, so 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2Y equals 10. What? Okay, um, Car said negative one. You already given us the answer. Let's let's see if she's correct or he's correct or um, the person's correct. Maddie said negative one, negative one. Everybody saying negative one. So good. So I saw subtract twelve. Perfect. We have to subtract twelve before we can divide. Uh, I guess you don't. You can divide, but you have to divide. I mean, but yeah, let's subtract. Okay. So we're gonna do two y equals ten minus twelve gives us a negative two. And then we're going to divide. Good. So those who are saying y equals negative 2 divided by 2 is a negative 1. Those who were saying negative 1 were 100% correct. Great job, you guys. <laughs> you say, I don't know how I graduated. Congratulations on graduating. You got it done, though. <laughs> so now, how do we write this point, you guys? How do we write this point? What is our answer? How do we write it? Thank you for the follows and the likes, you guys. I really appreciate it. Good. Okay, so I've said three, negative one, three. Good. You guys are on it. That is our answer. It's, you have to write it as a point. And remember, your X comes before your Y. So it's three comma negative one. And yes, order matters. Okay? Order matters. So, because if you switch these, it's going to be wrong, okay? So, make sure you put the X's before the Y's, all right? Good, good, good. So, that, what we just did, you guys, is called the elimination method, okay? Now, over here, we're going to use the substitution method, okay? We're going to do substitution method. So some people are asking, what's, um, where can you find this math? This is in Algebra 1 high school, Algebra 2 high school, college. Um, I even saw this in middle school. I think seventh grade and eighth grade do this, does this as well. Uh, thank you so much for the paper crane. Oh, somebody said they're in seventh grade and they haven't done this. All right. Math 71 college. Yep. Yep. So, um, Oh, and there's, you know how there's two different levels in middle school. There's like the advanced track and then there's the normal track. So I think the advanced seventh grade might do this. Um, this is what I'm thinking. Yep. Algebra one kids. Yay. Yep. Good. All right. So let's do number two. Okay. So when we're doing the substitution method, you guys, I always tell my kids box, box this. Okay, and put where is it going? So I boxed 3x plus 15 because that's equal to y. I'm going to plug in this box in for this y into this equation. So I'm going to put 5x minus 2. Now be careful here. You must put parentheses. Why am I putting the parentheses? Because anytime a number is attached to a variable, that means multiply. So I have to use parentheses to show that it's multiplying. And then again, I'm plugging in this whole entire box in for y. So I'm going to put 3x plus 15. Okay. Then I'm going to put equals. Okay. Let me make sure if you guys can see it. Equals negative 26. Okay. So now where do we begin? Where do we even start? right? That's the next question. 
Where do we even start? Good. It said distribute. You're right on it. PEMDAS. Excellent, you guys. Distribute. Yes. So we're going to distribute, which just means we're going to multiply. Okay. For those who don't remember what distribute means, it just means you're going to multiply this negative 2 to everything in the parentheses. So we're going to drop down this 5x. And then negative 2 times 3x gives us negative 6x. Okay. Negative 2 times 15 gives us negative 30. And then we're going to drop down the negative 26. Now you have to be careful, okay? When you have two x's on the same side, you combine them, okay? So 5 minus 6 gives us negative 1 x. I'm going to drop down this negative 30 equals negative 26. All right, y'all. Good. Somebody said combine like terms. Perfect. All right. So what do we do next? Good. I'm glad you're bringing back some memories. Add 30 to both sides. Excellent. Yes. So we're going to add 30 to both sides. Perfect. And then we have negative x. Okay, so you can write this negative x means the same thing as negative 1x. Some people can't see it. So thank you, lovely, for the rose. I put the 1 so that everyone knows that that means negative 1, okay? So 30 minus 26 gives us a 4. Thank you for the rose, Heather. And then divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1. And thank you for the ice cream cone, Snoops. X equals negative 4. Okay, that's what we get. Now, y'all, are we done? That's the, that's the question. Okay, somebody already went ahead and said the next one is 3. No, good. <laughs> I know. Somebody said, damn it. <laughs> I know. We are not done, though, you guys. We are not. We have to solve for the Y. Remember that, okay? So we're going to plug this in for into this equation. Why we're going to plug it into this equation? Because y is already by itself. So it will be easier. So we're going to do 3 times, remember I'm plugging in negative 4 for x, plus 15, okay? And then, so 3 times negative 4 is negative 12, plus 15, Good. So whoever was saying negative 12 plus 15 is 3. Perfect. And our answer is negative 4 comma 3. Excellent, you guys. Good, 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 everyone. All right. Let's go to our next one. Yes, I do help with quantitative math. Um, I'm going to start doing that, going live on some of that those um, word problems. It's like a lot of wordy. Um, yeah. Yep. Thank you, Space, so much for the gift. Thank you for the follows, you guys. It's pretty awesome. All right, so let's do number one. Okay. So again, remember, this is the GED Okay, so if you know somebody that's been struggling to pass the GED to get their high school diploma, the math is holding them up, please share this with them, okay? I usually go live every Sunday for GED people, okay? Thank you so much for the gifts, you guys. Where does the line with the equation x minus 2y equal 4? intersect with the line with the equation 6y plus 5x equals 4. All right, so as soon as you've seen intersect, um, what that means is we're going to set these up, okay? So I'm going to set it up as x minus 2y equals 4, and then I'm going to put this equation directly underneath it, okay? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little rearrange because I want the X's under the X's and the Y's under the Y's. So I'm going to change this to 5X, okay, plus 6Y equals 4, okay? And I'm doing this because I want my X's to line up and my Y's, okay? 
So now we can solve this by doing elimination. So again, we want these to cancel. We want the y's to cancel. So what do I have to multiply this top by in order for it to cancel out with the 6y? What do you guys say? Good. Nike said three by three. Cheryl, the, excellent. You guys are on it. Yes. So we multiply this by a three. So I'm going to distribute three here, which this becomes three X. Three times the negative two gets me negative six Y. And then three times four gets me 12. Perfect. And now remember you add down. Okay. So five X plus three X gets me 8x. Remember, this should cancel. If it does not, we did something wrong, okay? So this cancels because 6 minus 6 goes away. And then we have equals 12 plus 4 is, 12 plus 4 is, why is my brain freezing? 16, okay? Good, good, good. And then how do we get x by itself? We're going to Divide both sides by 8. Good. Thank you, guys. Divide by 8. And then x equals 16 divided by 8 is 2. Okay. Right now, if this was a time test, I can already see my answer. You guys, can anybody else see what our answer is? Good. I saw somebody else get it. A. Yes. A. 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 Now, let me explain why it's A, okay? You have to know, remember, X comes before Y. So even though we have two here for D, two is in the wrong spot. Because remember, this is always X, then Y. And we said X was two. So the only point where X is a positive two is A. Okay, so uh, somebody said, how did we get 16? All right, so how we got 16 is we added these two equations, okay? So we did 4 plus 12, and that got us the 16. How we got the 8x is we did 5x plus 3x, and that's how we got the 8x, okay? All right, how did you get the 3? So good, okay, so I see a lot of questions on how did we come up with the 3, how we came up with the three, okay, let me go back over here because I don't want anybody to get left off for understanding. I'm sure you're not the only one. So let's go back. We're going to go back real quick, okay? So those who got it, please be a little bit, um, have a little bit patience, okay? So I wrote this equation right here, here, okay? Then I'm going to write this equation underneath it, okay? But I want my X's to line up and my Y's to line up. So what I did was I put the 5x plus the 6y equals to 4, okay? Now, I want to cancel out my y's. The only way I can cancel out my y is if I have a negative 6 here and a positive 6 here. Well, to make 2 go to 6, I have to multiply it by a 3, but I can't just do this times three. I have to do each and everything times three. And that's how we came up with the three because we want two times three to give us a negative six to cancel. Good. I'm glad you see. And I'm glad you guys asked. Great. Because I'm sure you weren't the only one wondering. So fantastic. Good, 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 good. I'm glad everybody sees it. So, um, okay, good, good. So now, um, but this is not a time test, right? So let's actually plug this in. Um, let's plug this in here and solve and make sure that everybody sees how we get negative one for Y. So I'm going to write this, okay? So my, I'm going to write this. I'm going to use this equation, x minus 2y equals 4. We're going to plug in this x for 2. So we're going to do 2 minus 2y equals 4. Now, how do I get this 2 to the other side? How do we get the 2 to the other side? 
I will be here this summer. I am too excited. So stay tuned. I'm going to be on summer break and we won't be getting it in. Subtract. Excellent. So we're going to minus two, minus two. Yeah, I plan to go um, pretty, um, like I plan on doing math labs this summer to help people that just need like access to a math teacher that clicks for their brain. Um, and then we're going to divide here. Remember, whenever you have a negative two divided by Y, you divide, okay? Thank you so much for the rows. Yeah, you don't add. That's I, Somebody just said, I thought you add. No, you do not add because whenever you have a number attached, see how they're attached? They're like close to each other, so that means they're multiplied. So we have to divide both sides by negative two, okay? And then we get Y equals... 2 divided by negative 2 gets us the negative 1. And so we have our x is 2. Our y is negative 1. That's why that is A. Okay. Oh, you're going into 7th grade? Oh, good. 7th grade math. Yep, this is on the GED, you guys. You can see a problem like this on the GED. Okay. Do substitution way? Okay. For this one, see, we can do the substitution way, but since it's a time test, I wouldn't want to set you up doing the substitution this way. And why that is because they never gave us a variable or a letter that was by itself. So when they don't give you a letter that's or by itself, you don't do the substitution way. It's going to take more of your time and you're taken away from actually like getting another question correct. Yep, this is on college algebra too, you guys. Yep, you guys do this in college as well. So let's see, number two, the next one is C. All right, so somebody says C is that one. Now, this is what I was talking about here. Let's see if C is correct. I would do the substitution method on this one. And why I would is because they told me Y is equal to negative 2. I have a variable by itself, okay? A letter by itself. So where does the line with the equation Y equals negative 2 intersect with the line with the equation 3Y equals 2X plus 3? So let's check this, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to plug this in. So I'm going to plug this in for Y here. So I'm going to do 3 times a negative 2 equals 2X plus 3. Okay. Oh, they told me what Y is? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, they, they did. So now, since we know Y is negative 2, we either have the chan um, chance of A, B, or C being correct. We can automatically take out D because we know Y is not a positive 2, it's a negative 2. Okay, so 3 times a negative 2 gets us a negative 6 equals 2X plus 3. Good, I'm glad somebody pointed that out. Okay. Oh, you guys, my phone is this looking a little dim. Okay, so now we're going to minus 3 to both sides. So we're going to do minus 3, minus 3. This cancels. And negative 6 minus 3 is going to give us negative 9 equals 2x. All righty. Now the question is, what do we do next? Good, I'm glad Fresh sees it. Perfect, Fresh. What do we do next? Good, XO said divide. Perfect, divide by two. Excellent. Yes, we divide by two because we want the X by itself. So negative nine over two and C is our answer. Good, fantastic. Yeah, it's, be careful. See how they tried to trick you to dividing by the 9? No, you have to divide by the 2 to get x by itself. So it's